The next part after you've set up your printer is actually to install the software properly. So it comes with Flexi Sign and Print uh, Editor as well as Production Manager and it's a MUTO edition. So what, uh, what I want you to do is start Production Manager. Production Manager, the very first time you start it, there won't be any devices in here, so you'll get this Add Setup window. Of course, you have a color printer, and it's a MUTO. So you go down to your model here, and down near the bottom, you're going to find your 628 and 628X, right? So you choose the appropriate model there. Click Next. And then you want to type in the TCP IP address. So if you need help with that from somebody that knows how to look at that on your, on your printer model, that's fine. But uh, for uh, an illustration purposes, I'm just going to type in some numbers here. Uh, the Find Printer, by the way, if you're on a, a network or something like that, you can click that button and it'll actually find the TCP address, uh, address for you. And once you identify your printer, you could click uh, Test and it would actually test to see if you're communicating properly. But we're going to say we type those in. So we're going to click OK. And at this point then, uh, if you've typed in those numbers OK, what I would suggest you do is before you leave here, just go ahead and click the Test button. And what that will do is it will indicate whether you're communicating with your device properly or not. Uh, it, it will say, you know, communication uh, successful if that is the case. Choose Finish, and your printer then is set up. Now, the very next thing I would suggest that you do is uh, simply go to the uh, Setup menu up here and just uh, load your printer with your media. Uh, whatever media you're using here and again just to verify that things are working correctly you're going to send a test print and uh, what that's going to do is that's going to actually produce a file uh, down here and this file is just a set of colors just like you're seeing here it's going to rip the file that means it's going to go to the second uh, middle part right here in fact let me make this bigger so you can see it that middle part right there is called ripping so it's preparing the file for printing and I am not connected to a device yet, so it'll probably abort on me. But in your case, it would actually go to the, th the third uh, one up here at the top, and it would actually print that file out. So this is a nice way to verify that all of your communication is taking place properly and that things are working properly. All right, so there it is. Uh, it just aborted on me, which is fine. And anytime you have files in these areas, if they're not doing something, you can always uh, click on them and just delete them if you want to. Another thing you might want to do uh, is go to your setup menu here at the top and choose default job properties. Just click on that. And what this is about is this is this is setting up your most common workflow. So in our case, uh, what we would do is when our printer is connected and we want to make sure it's on and everything, you're going to see uh, load your media, the most common media you have uh, in the printer. And this button right here, uh, you click Pole Size. And what that's going to do is that's going to go then and change this to Custom. And then it's going to put in some number in here. And that's actually the actual width of the material that can be printed. So that's a, that's a good thing to know. So that's the only thing I want you to do on this first box. Uh, in the second workflow window here, we do not need to make any changes for the most part. Uh, if you want to, you could go over here and put this on Hold. And what that would do is, uh, in the case of my test print, for instance, it would have gone through, it would have ripped, it would have printed, and then it would have gone back into my hold queue down here so that I could send it again if I wanted to. So you, it's something that you can decide on your own here. Typically, uh, as a file gets finished, we don't want to fill up this hold queue down here, so we, it defaults to delete. Uh, the third tab is our color management tab, and this is important from the standpoint of print quality and, and many other things. Uh, it's very important to pick output profiles properly. So in this case, we have uh, one profile that I have loaded up here, which is a heat transfer profile, so no problem. If that's the case, and that's what I'm going to be printing on that material, then that's the one I'm going to choose as my, my common profile. If you have others in here uh, for your particular machine, uh, choose the most uh, common one. That's all I'm going to say there. What you want to do is make sure that you're not seeing things like this, where you're seeing like little uh, warning signs like that. When you pick a profile, you should see everything without any warning signs whatsoever. Okay? Uh, the third tab over is printer options. This is actually to set it up to print with uh, different uh, weave patterns and vacuum settings and so forth. I would say you don't need to worry about this very much. Uh, I would leave it alone at this point. Although what you could do is turn on media thickness 
And if you have a way to actually measure the thickness of your media, uh, this is a good place where you can change that. All that does is improve the accuracy, in particular with bi-directional. When the printer prints from left to right and right to left uh, each time, it just increases your accuracy there. So uh, many times you can leave that off and you'll be perfectly satisfied with it. But all of these settings that are turned on, these check marks, like here's enable heater settings, what that does is that tells the printer what to do. So uh, typically you can just leave these as a default, but uh, if you want to, you can also change these if necessary. All right, the, this is a paneling size, which you do not need to worry about. You can actually go in here and say, okay, after the job prints, I want you to print labels for me. So you can actually print like some information about uh, how that printer was set up when you print it. It won't go on the image, it'll go right on the outside of the image. Uh, the, this tab is called color adjustment. I would say you do not need to use this in most circumstances. Uh, we have a lovely training DVD on this software uh, that's available to you at thinkmuto.com in our uh, store there and uh, it will teach you uh, the entire uh, Flexi uh, program. So if you're interested in learning more about these things I would say get that DVD. Uh, you can print as separations. This was used for mostly uh, printing um, for screen printing, so you're probably not going to use that. There is a banner finishing, uh, so if you're printing on something that's, uh, you want to put grommets in to hang on a wall or something like that, you can actually turn on grommet hole markers so you know where to put the grommets. And the last one is called object color control. You're probably not going to use that again. It would be uh, explained much better in a uh, setting where you're using uh, the DVD to learn uh, appropriately. Now once you have these things set up, uh, if, you, if you're printing something and you find it prints really well and so forth and you, you go to your job properties here, you can actually save this as well. And I would just turn all of these on and just say save and give this a name, right? So this might be, uh, you know, this might be your default settings or something like that. That's called a preset. And I'm going to show you how that helps you here in just a minute, all right? So just save it like that. Click OK. And your printer is now ready for a real job. So let's go on over to Flexi. And uh, let's just uh, draw a little drawing up here. We'll just draw a nice star like this. And we'll get you a nice color and whatever. And let's say we want to print that out, OK? If that's the case, then when you're getting ready to print anything, whether it's a bitmap, an image, a, vector artwork, whatever it is you've designed in here. Uh, you're going to go up here at the very top. There's actually a, a little uh, icon that looks like a printer. You click on that and that starts what's called the rip and print menu. So this is a preview of what's going to happen on your printer. So the white that you're seeing here all the way across, that's the width of the media that's in there. This is the star you just drew on there. And all of your default settings are showing up over here. So this is, this is very, very well done, right? I could say, I want to send this right now. I want to put this on hold. We'll put it on hold and I'll show you what that does. Uh, you would determine uh, if you want to print, uh, if it's too uh, big for that printer to handle, it would print it in, in sections. It would actually print it in, in panels that you can put together if you want to use that. That's one thing that this program will do for you. And then finally, the third tab. This is one where you just want to check this out. So in the third tab here again, here I'm making sure that all of this is right. And you see where it says presets up here? If it said uh, none, okay, and this was set to something else, right? Like all these things were completely different. Maybe this is down here and I'm just going to mess it up, right? I got all these things messed up here. Guess what I can do? Just go in here and say, use my MUTO defaults and it'll set everything correctly. I want you to understand that's a good thing to do is just come up with something that's that works for you and then save it as a default. That way you can kind of set everything back to the way it, it needs to be. Once you have the job set up, uh, let's go back, make sure it's on hold. You hit send. What that does is then it transfers the job. You can see it up here at the top. It's transferring it to the production manager. So we can hit done here and let's go to our production manager and there's our job on hold. Now, had I had it on send, it would have immediately started ripping and then printing the job. But the reason I put it on hold here is it gives me the information to check over one more time. And if I need to change something, I can just double click on the name of the file and it brings up a menu that lets me go in here and make a couple of changes if I need to.
For instance, if I had loaded smaller media in there, I could check and make my media smaller. Or if I wanted to, I could say, you know, for this job, I want you to go ahead and print the labels, and it would print them up there at the top, you know. So again, if you're interested in, in fully learning this program, I would highly suggest that you get the uh, Flexi Training DVD, and that will take you through every single step. So uh, I think you're going to find it's very easy to set up this printer, get started with it, and we hope you enjoy using a MUTO printer.